Hello my friends, Samuel is here. We got our tools for Jackie, so we're gonna go ahead and give them to him so he can clear out that bamboo for us. Oh, my wonderful tools! Give Blacksmith back his tools. Thank you so much. Now, as promised, I'll clear your path to Mortizero's Grove. Oh, he just hopped right to it. There you go! Well, I better get back to my shop. Thanks for everything. Oh, one more thing. If you visit my shop, I can build you some tools of your own. It's going to take me a little time to get everything up and running again, though. So, why don't you come by once you've done talking to Morozoro? Hopefully I'll be ready by then. Good luck! Yeah, I'm definitely going to need a uh, something to chop down that bamboo. Oh, well, there's a cave, bud. Hello, friend. I'd recommend against going down this path for the time being. There are far too many envoy beyond this point. Scary. I don't want to interact with that. Hello? Oh! Hello there! What's in front of him? It looks like we have visitors. Are these Envoy? They don't look like the ones we saw. Hmm. I do not recognize their kind at all. I don't think they're from Morizor's forest. Hmm. Definitely not from around here. Definitely not. It's been many years since we've had visitors such as these. Morizor's helper. Tell me, young boy, what brings you to Keeper's Cove? I want to ask Morizoro if he would grant me a wish. I'm willing to do whatever it takes. I'm sorry, but Morizoro has been sleeping for a while now. Oh, do you know when he's going to wake up? My boy, this is not an ordinary slumber. A darkness has fallen over Morizoro's lands, and over him as well. A darkness? You see, we have long shared this world with the envoy. They are spirits between this realm and the next. Typically peaceful, merely passing through. However, lately more and more of them have become overrun with negative energy. Anger, fear, hatred. The whole forest can feel it. If Morizoro sleeps and darkness subsumes his lands, we are all in danger. This is terrible. We have to do something. <sighs> Let me try to wake him up for you. <laughs> My boy, Morizoro cannot be awoken by just any means. When darkness has caused him to fall into slumber, the only thing that can awaken him is a very special song. A song that we call Mori no Kokoro. Can you teach it to me? No, my child, I cannot. But that's not to say that you can't learn it. When you can hear things that are too quiet for the ears, the fear and longing, the hopes and dreams of those around you, then you can wake him. I'm sorry, but I don't understand. Look around us. Do you see the stones with different markings? Yes. Yes? Each one represents a voice that is calling out for your help right now. A man whose connection with his wife has been severed, it's Winston. A woman who prepares to lose that which is the most dear to her. A woman who prepares... Is that my mom? Seek them out, along with the rest who call out to you. If you help them, they will teach you what you seek to learn. See that one over there? Yes? Shh, listen. My wife's been asleep for months now. Something tells me that's a good place to start. Good luck, young one. Return to us if you need any help. Okay. I can tell that you've been through a lot, young one. 
Seek out those who need your help. In return, they will teach you what you seek to learn. Morizora is in a dark slumber. Hmm. So, Winston first, eh? Well, first things first. We're going to go over to where Jackie is. So I can pick up some bamboo cutting tools. And then get the treasure that I want. <laughs> okay, bud? Hello? The other buds tell me that you went to see Marizoro. I wonder when he's gonna wake up again. I miss him. I miss him too, buddy. Alright. Hey guys, don't forget to come by my shop. I'll make you an axe. Yes, I will come get that axe post haste. Uh, which one was it? Was it up here? Yeah, there's a hammer there. Hello! Oh, hey you guys! Thanks again for helping me get my tools back! My shop isn't fully functional yet, but if you bring me the right materials, I can make you an axe of your own. I'll need five camper sticks and three pieces of nightstone. I'm sure you can find those things in the area just southeast of the village. Okay, I was gonna say, I have no idea where to find those. So, southeast, eh? Southeast? Here? Oh, this, the sign is still here. Is that okay? You two back again? You don't have to worry about us anymore. And why is that? We just went through Morizoro's cave. We even got the blacksmith's tools back for him after they were stolen by angry spirits. Oh, really? Well, why didn't you say so? I guess you two can handle yourselves after all. You're free to pass, but be careful. Alright, thank you, sign. Okay. We need, uh, some items here. Can I? Yeah, no bamboo. Okay, what's this? You'll need something to carry this in before you can catch it. Oh, they must be fireflies for when I make lanterns. Um, I think it was Korra who makes the lanterns, right? So we'll just, uh... Here, onion. Mild onion! Have you ever heard the stereotype that onions smell bad? Well, let me tell you. It's not true. Sure, I might have a few cousins who only shower once a month, and their trash cans are overflowing with fast food wrappers. But, they're the exception. For the most part, we smell rather nice. I will not argue with you there. Is that more, uh, mini... mini moris, or whatever they're called? They seem to have no uh, identity beyond numbers. Yeah, mini mori 16. Hi, I'm mini mori. There are many of us and we all have a number attached to our name. Do you know what the numbers stand for? It's the order in which we came into this world. That's not very creative. <laughs> Smug onion, what do you want? <sighs> I don't remember how many sticks and rocks we needed, but I'm assuming it's all the stuff that we can pick up here. Eh, excuse me, onion. going. Some more sticks. I'm assuming they won't let me get more than uh, I need, but who knows. Hello, Liebel. Sorry, the festival grounds are closed until we get everything set up. Okay, so I'm assuming we're gonna need the lanterns for the festival. I remember it was like some sort of light-related festival, so we'll need like a jar for that. Um, but before that... Oh, there's money. The Liebels use this area south of here for the Star Night Festival. Yeah, Star Night, that's what it was. Minimalist cave bud. They get crazy. But you know what? It's really crazy being a slave to your positions. You know? You know what I'm saying? It's overwhelming. That's why I decided to get rid of all my stuff, except for my garden. I love my garden. It brings me joy. So if you're thinking, it feels bad taking what's in that guy's box. He's standing right there. Don't feel bad. I don't even need it anymore. You know, it's tough at first, letting go of your possessions, but once you do, it's sweet, sweet freedom. I just stole his possessions without even giving him a how do you do. <laughs> uh, Alright. 
I'm assuming we have all the materials that we need. So we're just gonna go ahead back over to Jackie's um, and hopefully build an axe. Build an axe or whatever. <laughs> have him build the axe. Manufacture? Uh, craft? Craft is the right word. Um, I believe there was some bamboo maybe in the basement of uh, of Morizoro's cave. I don't remember exactly. But I'm pretty sure it was there. And uh, hopefully I have all the materials I need because I don't think I saw any other ones there. Oh, hello. Ah, I see you found the materials for your axe. One moment, please. I hope you enjoy your new axe. Received an axe. It works great on bamboo and other types of wood. In fact, why don't you go test it out on that door up there? Chop it down! Feel free to take or buy whatever you sign aside. Why do you have a boarded up door in your hut? Why not? Um, yep, definitely suspect. Who gives this child an axe? Cat's eye marble. Oh, we found a marble! For Sue. Welcome back, guys! What can I make for you today? Pickaxe. Do I already have a pickaxe? I'm sorry, but you don't have the right materials to make this item. You can see the sign next to me if you'd like to know what materials are required to make something. Um, oh, this sign. Tool menu. Axe. Pickaxe. Okay, well, we have an axe. We don't have a pickaxe yet. But we can do plenty with just this axe. Dingy. There's maybe an achievement for knocking down everything, so I'm gonna do that, even if there isn't. <laughs> okay, so this is a treasure chest here. This is just gonna be an episode of me uh, chopping down tons of bamboo and opening chests. Is it just gonna be money? If it's just money, I'm gonna be a little bit disappointed. Do you have anything new to say, Pinky? Oh, there's someone here in the kitchen. Hey buddy, how's it going? What's up? I'm busy preparing food for Star Night, our village's biggest yearly event. You look stressed out. I am! Star Night is almost here, but I'm nowhere near ready. I'm the village chef, which means I'm responsible for all the Star Night food. I have to prepare pancakes for the pancake eating contest, bake another 10 pies, oh, collect silly berries for the silly berry juice. Hey! If you could bring me 40 silly berries, that life would make so much easier. What do you say? Help a fellow out? Sure, I'll help. Thanks, buddy. You know my silly berries. Bushes scattered around the forest. I need 40 of them. How many... Do I have? Oh, I have 30. I'm so close. Okay, well, we will come back when we get uh, 40. Hello. Welcome to Pinky's Bakery. Because of Star Night, we don't have a whole lot right now, but I think we might stop some royal jelly. I'm sure, I like a jar. Jelly jar. Oh, okay, that's it. That's the only thing they had. They had that one jar. <laughs> Uh, yep, it's the travel bug guy. So Winston's by the river. Maybe I should stop by there. Hello. Welcome to my art store. What's up? I love having my own art store. It allows me to be creative for a living. You look stressed out. Don't get me wrong. I love making paper lanterns for the Star Night Festival. It's just that I'm running behind and I'm afraid I won't finish them in time. Do you think you could help me gather materials for me to make lanterns? I need six seeds for the paper and six fireflies for the light. Six or five reeds for the paper. Okay. Oh, that's wonderful. Thank you so much. The reeds look like the ones I have in the vase down there. They grow around the water. Catching the fireflies might be a bit tricky. I usually get a jar from Pinky's assistant to catch them with. It's going to be the best and most beautiful star night ever. Do I have to uh, eat this jar first? Or eat what's in the jelly? I don't think so. Okay, so we need reeds. We need to go by the water, which we haven't gone by yet. Oh, we haven't seen a... Uh, what's her name? We just took her chest. <laughs> Hello. Hey, kiddo, welcome to my store. What's up? Lately, I've been thinking about getting a fifth cat. <laughs> no, I didn't mean to do that. That's for sale. Nothing's at the moment. I'm still getting things in order after the storm. But I might have some stuff later on. Okay. Um, I swear there was like tons more bamboo. 
Uh, okay, so we need a pickaxe for that rock. We still can't get that chest. Hello? Have you been to the midnight tea shop? They have wonderful tea. A nice hanyeon... Hang, hang, a couple of us to the water palace runs it. No, I have not been there. Oh, we can't go this way. Okay. Do, 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 do. Can I chop this? No bamboo for anyone. Um, can I check my map? I cannot check my map. Okay. I'm going to go check the cave really quick. Because I swear that there was uh, some bamboo areas. If I don't find a uh, bamboo area, I'll just cut back to uh, the entrance of this. Okay, I did remember bamboo, so here it is. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. We'll chop down this bamboo and see what's over here. This is uh, the basement on the left side of the map. Is that a frog? Glenn the frog. <laughs> I caught a frog! Maybe we could take it back to the hospital. I bet it would make a great pet for the people on my floor. Uh, I don't know about that, but okay, we will take this frog. Um, I don't remember any other bamboo areas, but let me just do a sweep really quick. Okay, so I looked at the map and actually there is, um, yeah, this basement area down here, which looks like it leads to another room. So I'm going to check it out, and it looks like there is bamboo there, so I'm just going to go and chop that down. Um, I'm guessing we might have to come back when we get our pickaxe uh, for that door that almost looks like a brick wall. Oh, there's treasure. Okay. Golem child doll. That's not strange. 25G. Okay. Um, I think that's everything now. I don't see any unexplored rooms. Check the stairs, or go upstairs rather. Okay, I do think we have everything now. Um, maybe I'm wrong and we don't have to go back into that that room with the spooks. Um, maybe not, I don't know. Alright. Um, hello, can I give you the marble or can I only give it to your counterpart in the real world. Have you ever had a best friend? My best friend and I would go everywhere together. We had the best adventures. Both of us were kind of poor. It was sad because sometimes she didn't have even have any food. But I always shared my lunch with her because that's what best friends do. Hmm. So I guess the next thing for us to do is to go find Winston, who's apparently down by the water, um, gather some reeds. Actually, you know what? Now that I have a jar, I'm just gonna go catch some fireflies because I know I can do that right now. Hopefully no one wants to eat the jam that's in my jar and I can just put the fireflies straight in there. Um, but I figure I could do that before I forget um, and then we can finish up there. Oh, there's some bamboo. Wait, there's more bamboo down here. Okay, we'll, we'll go on a, a little longer than uh, I first anticipated. Hello. Okay, I got a firefly. How many fireflies does she need? Hello? Okay, I think there's just two in this area. I saw that onion and I, for a second, I was like, oh, a firefly? No. <laughs> okay, oh, that was just money. Whatever. Okay, I think it's just the two fireflies down here. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we'll go over by the water and that's where the reeds are that Cora needs. Hopefully some more bushes so that Pinky can make uh, what he needs. And I think, yeah, I think that'll be it for the next episode. So thank you for watching. This has been Samarilla's playing Rakuen. Uh, join me next time as I collect more materials. And I hope you have a great day. And remember to be kind to yourself and to others. Goodbye!